Channel 2 Sports, sponsored by Xfinity Mobile. Vermont Green FC has exploded in popularity and visibility over the less than two years since the club played its first game. On Tuesday, the Green announced its entry into one of the biggest competitions U.S. soccer has to offer. We got a chance to speak with club co-founder Pat Inferna about it. Yeah, so we uh, got the news from the U.S. Soccer Federation that we've qualified for the U.S. Open Cup. Cup competitions have been a key cog of soccer for more than a century. Long before the advent of England's Premier League, the FA Cup was the single biggest trophy you could win in the sport. The Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup is about 40 years younger than that fabled competition, but it still has its own rich history dating back to 1914. Yeah, it's, it's a really special tournament, and it's, it's single elimination knockout that's kind of tiered to start with lower division amateur clubs, uh, and eventually the professional teams drop in. What makes this type of tournament so special is that teams like Vermont Green find themselves in the same single elimination bracket as MLS squads. USL2 got 11 of the 32 open division slots, and VGFC is going to have to earn their way through the bracket to get a crack at a higher division pro club. If I did my count right, I think there's 104 teams in the competition. And like I said, it starts with amateurs, then it's lower division professional, eventually Major League Soccer enters in the third round. The tournament starts off with regional matchups and is eventually whittled down. But there is no seeding. The draw and home field advantage in those games are decided by random draw. That means it's theoretically possible VGFC could end up hosting an MLS team if they make it far enough in the bracket. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but there's a there's a non-zero chance that, that Leo Messi might have to play at Virtue Field, but we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. First things first, VGFC will need to put a roster together. Their team sheet is typically comprised of mostly college players during their summer USL2 season. But the US Open Cup first round is scheduled for the third week of March. There's plenty of work to be done, but they know the kind of guys they're targeting. Yeah, at the moment, we, we need to get... Uh, a little bit of a better idea of clearances of what who can play and when and stuff like that but uh, we'd prefer to play with guys that, that, that the fans will be familiar with guys that have played for the club before or guys that we're looking at having play for us this summer um, but it, it, we hope to have a, a similar roster of familiar faces from a competitive standpoint VGFC will do their best to try and make a run but the real goal is just to continue to provide a good experience for the fans and shine a light on their environmental mission. Our goal for this tournament is, is really to just uh, try to compete at, at a high level. We obviously want to look at that first round first and foremost and, and try to get a win there. We want to continue bringing high level soccer to Vermont. Now it's, you know, it could be in what, what once was May to July to August could, could end up being now March and April and all the way through to August. So it's, it's extending our season and, and yeah, our goal is just continue to play good soccer and continue to spread the mission.